The Investment Company Institute (ICI) is the leading global association of regulated funds, including mutual funds, exchange-traded funds, closed-end funds and unit investment trusts in the United States, and similar funds offered to investors in jurisdictions worldwide. ICI encourages adherence to high ethical standards, promotes public financial literacy of funds and investing, and advances the interests of investment funds and their shareholders, directors, and advisors. History Following the stock market crash of 1929 that presaged the Great Depression, Congress passed a series of acts related to securities and financial regulation. One of these, the Investment Company Act of 1940, clearly defined the responsibilities of investment companies. This same year, what would become ICI was established in New York as the National Committee of Investment Companies, an organization to aid in the administration of the Act. It became the National Association of Investment Companies in 1941, and then the Investment Company Institute in 1961. Topic. ICI Global In 2011, ICI expanded internationally with the launch of the London-based ICI Global, which seeks to advance the common interests and promote public understanding of issues related to international funds, managers and investors, including both regulated U.S. and non-U.S. based funds publicly offered to investors worldwide. In 2013, ICI Global expanded into Asian markets with the opening of an office in Hong Kong. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Role in regulation and education. As an association made up of U.S. investment companies, including mutual funds, closed-end funds, exchange-traded funds ETFs, and unit investment trusts UITs, ICI seeks to encourage adherence to high ethical standards among its members to gain public trust and confidence. It advocates for meaningful disclosure for investors from funds and provides investor education. It also provides data and commentary to the SEC to advise its regulatory process, and submits official comment letters and briefs in response to proposals around new financial regulations as well as legal decisions. ICI's research department includes economists and research analysts who collect and disseminate data on all types of registered investment companies. In 2016, they released more than than 300 statistical reports examining various aspects of the industry, as well as 19 research and policy publications. In addition, ICI aims to promote the interests of directors, stockholders and investment counselors as well as the investment funds themselves. The organization has two continuing professional education programs, including a continuing professional education CPE program for certified public accountants and a continuing legal education CLE program for attorneys. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Political role ICI lobbies on behalf of investment companies, working closely with policymakers and regulators through outreach efforts involving economic and legal analysis, sometimes advocating directly to the public on issues important to its members. 
It also donates to federal candidates through its Political Action Committee, ICI PAC, having donated $1,939,002 for the 2016 PAC cycle, with 34% going to Democrats and 66% to Republicans in 2016. ICI spent $4,962,719 on lobbying. Topic Membership ICI membership is open to Securities and Exchange Commission registered investment companies, mutual funds, closed end funds, ETFs, and UITs, their investment advisors, and underwriters. As of June 2017, ICI membership included 8,787 mutual funds, 548 closed-end funds, 1,569 exchange-traded funds (ETFs), and as of December 2016, 3,589 unit investment trusts (UITs). Members manage assets totaling $29.4 trillion and serve more than 100 million shareholders. Topic leadership The ICI is run by a board of governors, responsible for setting policies and overseeing the activities of the organization. The organization's staff is based in its offices in Washington, D.C., London, and Hong Kong. George C. W. Gatch, Chairman, Gatch is also CEO of J.P. Morgan Asset Management's Global Funds and Global Institutional Businesses. William F. Ted Truscott, Vice Chairman, Truscott is also CEO of Columbia Threadneedle Investments. Paul Schott Stevens, President and CEO, Stevens has been President and CEO of ICI since 2004, and served as the Institute's General Counsel from 1993 to 97. He also is a Director of the ICI Mutual Insurance Company. Donald C. Auerbach, Chief Operating Officer, a former member of the staff of Rep. Carolyn B. Maloney, DNY, he joined ICI in 2004. Auerbach, previously named a leader of ICI's government affairs staff, was named COO in 2018. Marty Burns, Chief Industry Operations Officer, Burns was named to his current position in 2015, previously having served with ICI as the Senior Director of Operations and Distribution. Jennifer Choi, Chief Counsel, ICI Global, Choi, who most recently was Associate General Counsel for Global Capital Markets Policy, joined ICI in 1999. Previously, she worked at the SEC in numerous roles. Sean Collins, Chief Economist, Collins joined ICI in 2000 and most recently was Senior Director of Industry and Financial Analysis. Previously, Collins was a staff economist at the Federal Reserve Board of Governors and at the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. Amy B. R. Lancelotta, Managing Director, Independent Directors Council, before assuming this role in 2006, Lancelotta served for 17 years as a member of ICI's Law Department, most recently as a Senior Counsel. Susan Olson, General Counsel, Olson joined ICI in 2007, most recently having served as Chief Counsel of ICI Global and Senior Counsel of International Affairs. Before that, Olson worked with the SEC in the international branch of the division's office of the Chief Counsel, where she resolved legal issues arising under the Investment Company Act and the Investment Advisors Act, and provided guidance for trade negotiations. 
Mike McNamee, Chief Public Communications Officer, named to his current position in 2012. McNamee first joined ICI in 2006, after serving as Deputy Washington Bureau Chief at Businessweek. Dean R. Sackett III, Chief Government Affairs Officer and Head of Government Affairs, Sackett joined ICI in 2000 and was appointed to his current role in 2009. He previously served on the staff of Representative Bob Livingston RLA. Dan Waters, Managing Director, ICI Global, Waters assumed the role in 2011, having previously directed asset management policy at the United Kingdom's Financial Services Authority. <laughs> <laughs> 